looking forward to that. So it's just going to be all over the place. And then we have to fit in Conan at some point this week. I don't know when we're going to do that. So it's 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 busy, dude. It's a good problem to have. Anyways, okay. Do do do. So we are starting off in this side here. Um, so, all right, let me rewind a second. Let me see what supplies we have. Dude, where's the sun at? Is it up? Okay, we still have a little bit more daylight. Thank goodness for that. Oh, yeah, I locked all these doors because I'm paranoid. All right, hang on. Let me unlock these first. Dominion says, the Dawn Detector was showing your area in Venezuela or hit hard. Um, yeah, there was, like, outages. And I noticed, like, some other backend stuff was coming. So, like, it was really weird. Um, that's the first time YouTube streaming services have gone down for me. And I've been doing this for a hot minute. So, um, yeah, it kind of sucked. I mean, I'm, I'm glad we picked up on it before it started. Because nothing sucks worse than, like, being right in the middle of something and then having stuff go down. Usually it's my internet or my setup. But anyways, yeah, it was it was crazy. Winchester says, haven't been on Xbox in a minute. It says, rip. He says, but I'm trying to get DayZ for PC, so I'm going to try to join you. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Dominion's got us on, um, he'll be joining us on the PC. Yeah, 1.04. Yeah. Leonardo, what's up, man? Welcome, everybody, new and old. We got a lot of familiar faces in here. We have Kitty Cat, Kimmy, Winchester, Dominion. Yay, yay. Oh, it's going to be so good. See if he's, oh, man, it's going to be tight. What's up? We had George in the chat earlier. What's up, Jorge? Hopefully everything's uh, good with you, sir. Okay, so we've been collecting a lot of stuff. The good news is, uh, with the current state of the game, uh, we've been finding a crazy amount of... What are these? Sea chests? Anyways, um, starting back here, rewinding it. So I wanted to go over this first. There's a couple things I wanted to, to touch base on, but the first thing is more advanced building. Um, building locations, uh, using structures for things other than just bases to, to kind of get or build in places that aren't normally accessible. And one of those would be, let me just go ahead and step outside here. Uh, we are in the Cherno apartment, so let me go ahead and bring this up here. Uh, on the full map first, uh, we're in like E2, maybe like F2 almost. So like Cherno is F1, E1, and E2. But we're more like, I want to say like E2 region. Uh, here's a zoomed in section of that uh, location. Hopefully I picked the right. There we go. That is Cherno. Um, we're sitting, let's call it the upper, let's call it the lower left. All right. If we were to cut this into a quad, right, we'd be in the like lower left region. And it's in the Cherno apartments. I don't even, I can't even read that. And it's Russian. So why am I leading in to read it? I don't even know. Are these the dub key apartments? Oh, my bad. Okay, it's more like the upper left. These are the dub key apartments. I'm so, I'm out of my head. Okay, we're in the dub key apartments. Anyways, um, to go back to what I was saying, the um, base locations, more advanced building. So my thought here was, and I should have started outside, but I didn't want to get clapped, right? Because this is an active server. Whoop. Okay. So if you notice in this apartment building, there are rooms in every single one of these. But if you notice when we go inside, there's rooms that are capped off, including on the first floor, right? Like you've got these barred off sections here, right? You can't go in there, but you can go in out here. And I think maybe you know where I'm going with this. So the game plan, by the way, that's our tent. The game plan is to build upwards and then jump into one of the apartment buildings or uh, one of the apartment complexes, or I'm sorry, one of the apartment apartments in the apartment complex. Hi, English is hard. All right, let's go back up here. We'll grab our materials, and we'll start going in on that. I've seen a lot of crazy base stuff. Man, it's been kind of cool. I know we're dealing with an exploit currently in 102. Uh, that's the version we're on on the uh, consoles, PS4, and the Xbox. Uh, but hopefully the new update will not only fix all that stuff, but um, get rid of all the, uh, the duping and stuff that's been running rampant. And I think last time I heard... Um, PlayStation 4 was getting a wave of that too. I don't know if it's hit everybody. Hopefully people don't have to deal with it for too long because exploits are pretty annoying too. Um, anyway, so I'm going to start placing these down here and let me grab, hopefully this goes quickly. So I'm going to grab just a watchtower. And again, if you're looking to see how to do some of the basic building, I do have a video on that. And I'll link it there when this turns out as a video later on. But right now, if you're trying to get to it, uh, if you tap the upper right-hand corner, 
There should be a card there. It's a little circle with a lowercase i, and I've got a link to the building in there as well. All right, so we're going to use a watchtower to build upward into some of these blank apartments. And if you're thinking about it, when you... Okay, so a lot of people ask me all the time, Hey, Jade, what's up? Um, how do you freaking like keep people from getting in your base? What do you use bases for? Um, bases can be used for an offensive or de defensive purposes, but if you're creating like a ramp to get to, um, you could potentially store your loot in there. All right, I think this is... Hopefully we have all the parts for this. Okay, so I've got building materials here. Uh, nails, planks, and logs. And currently in version 102, again for PlayStation and Xbox, we're looking at, uh, you can take out those logs each, once you set them up, you can remove them and they stay in place on the actual structure that shows up on the map. So just a, just a heads up. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll be fixed in the future, but I mean, it's kind of a freebie now, so whatever, take it. All right, I gotta do this quickly because <laughs> I don't want to get clapped, man. I'm I'm actually super scared I'm going to get clapped, so it's kind of scrambling my brains. Okay, so we're doing this quickly. We're gonna attach this to the tower, and hopefully I can catch up on chat here. Um, and the inside. Oh, but oh, but don't don't dig for worms. There we go. Yeah, I really don't want to lose this. Hey, K. SOT is crossplay. Yes. Um, that's Sea of Thieves we were talking about. We should be streaming that Thursday, man. Yesterday really threw me off. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with these poles here. Uh, I'm standing in the center, and I can just pull these out from the center. And then reuse them again. So we're just going to do the basic frame, and we're going to build upward and jump in from the balcony. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I've been jumping between games and stuff, so my brain is a little scrambled. <laughs> okay, we're going to throw our nails on there. Ooh, do I have my hatchet? I hope I do. Yeah, I guess one of the upsides is we've been finding a lot of roof or rooftops. Jeez, a lot of uh, tents and a lot of sea chests. I mean, we always find a lot of sea chests, but we find we have found an excessive amount of sea chests. So, yeah, we're just using that almost exclusively. I mean, shoot, we found what three last stream? So two used to be cross PC, uh, but it's not now. I thought you had the option to do that on Sea of Thieves. All right, let me hotkey this so it's a bit faster. Anyways, back to this. So, um, yeah, the idea is to jump up and then, like, pop our character inside of the uh, the apartment complex. I actually, I full disclosure, I have not tried it on this location. We've done it with previous builds, um, but I haven't tried it with this, or I'm sorry, with previous locations, but not this one. Jeez, man. My brain's... What's up? Uh, welcome back, Doctor. He says, hey, Jade, I can play. What's up, B? Hope you're feeling better. Sounds like you might be. Yeah, dude, yesterday was a bust of Rooney, wasn't it? I tried to stream yesterday, and all my software was like, yeah, you're on, you're on the air. And I'm like, what? And then I go over to my dashboard, and it was like, no, you're not. I'm like, what? <laughs> all right, let's grab our... Our pieces and parts down here and another okay so think about this for a second and I know we're kind of heaping on ideas but so creating a ramp to get into another location is great because then if you were to go into another server uh, this ramp or the staircase that you're using uh, won't exist in the other server but you'll be inside of this apartment complex so it wouldn't be terrible to throw um, some of your goods in there. As you know, sea chests do survive on the surface uh, without being buried for days. I'm not sure how long. Tell me that wasn't hot. Tell me that wasn't hot. Right? So if they last for days, couldn't you just, in theory, put a sea chest down in here? All right, let me rewind that idea so it makes a bit more sense, right? Ah, uh, you know what? I hope I can get out of this. Uh-oh. Like I said, I haven't tried it in this location, so I don't know how good or bad this is. Uh, time to whip out the old gun, eh? Uh-oh. We might be in a situation. <laughs> Please, no! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. <laughs> like I said, I haven't tried it in this prefab, this structure, so I'm just a little nervous. Okay, so yeah, rewind that idea. So, if okay, let's say we're on server A. This is server A. We were to create this, for lack of a better term, staircase. Then we were to jump into this location, right, right here, and then we we're to jump to server B. Now that we're in server B, there's no discernible way to get inside except on server A. 
So then you were you could drop your loot in server B, um, something that would persist for a long time. So the only thing I can think of would be a sea chest, because clearly you can't bury it inside of the apartment complex. Um, but that's one way to store your loot in a very unsuspecting place. It also wouldn't be bad to uh, camp out in either, because how is somebody going to rush your position if you're sitting in a in a prefab that, that again has no discernible way to get into it? These are things I think about. I don't know why, but I do. All right, so we're going to repair this real quick, and we're going to continue upward and try it on the next stage. Hopefully, we don't get stuck. It says, can you carry a tent and use it to jump in there? Oh, I guess you could, yeah, because they do kind of count as a what do you would call it? Uh, a collision? Like it does collisions on the object? Why am I having like a total and complete stroke today? <laughs> I'm like, hi, I talk badly. Did I not hockey this? My goodness. And again, if you want to go over these building specifics, I do have um, videos currently on uh, my playlist there. Did I? Oh, there's not enough planks. My goodness. You think I would know this by now? Yeah, I spent yesterday uh, gathering up a lot of these materials and stuff. That's why I was kind of nervous that we couldn't do this at the time. Because I'm like, dude, someone's going to rob me, right? There we go. Okay. Next stage. Do it. Okay, build the rooftop. And then we should be... We should have enough materials to build the staircase to the next one. I wouldn't recommend doing it on the first floor because people can see in there fairly easy. Um, I would recommend doing it a little bit higher. This is, can you smell toast? A little. Is that what they say? And then something with the arms. All right, so the second story would be a lot more, would make a lot more sense. <gasps> Oh yeah, that's that's juicy right there. And if we were to jump to another server, there'd be no way to get in there. Now you've seen us do this in another video too, where we did it on the construction site. And to kind of piggyback off of that idea, you could do something like that. If you saw the video earlier that was posted at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, um, which we, I should say because it's Wednesday uh, when we're shooting this, but um, I think it was called Massive Base. And again, I'll try to link that one here. Um, it kind of piggybacks off this idea. Uh-oh. Did I just get stuck? Please tell me I didn't just get stuck. This could be bad for me. Yes, this could be very bad. <laughs> Can I crouch through this? All right, note to self. Bring something to climb on, because uh, that's not good. We got it the first time, no problem. This is bad for me. Huh? Uh, do I have anything? I don't have anything in my bag I can throw up, can I? That's bad. It says, I'm in the same service as Don. I see you, I'll snipe you. Don, that's stream sniping. And that's lame. Aya! Oh my goodness, I think I just got myself stuck. Note to self, bring a barrel, or uh, you're definitely up Shit's Creek. Oh my goodness, do I not have the stand for this? Oh, I don't want to drop my plate carrier. Oh yeah, I'm going to try dropping my plate carrier right here. Well, I guess this is something you would run into, right? <laughs> I stick it in my pants? Is that light? This might be a terrible prefab to do this in. <gasps> Did I have collision with you? Oh no. It did did it go on the floor? Is it downstairs? Can you see it? That is the weirdest thing. Well, wow. hmm. <gasps> this is very bad for me. Like I said, I've <laughs> tried this before. Ah, oh, I'm so close. Let's wait for that stamp. <laughs> let's uh let's just say um it's a good idea but maybe not in this prefab section but you get the idea for more advanced builds to use it to catapult yourself up into places you're not supposed to be in maybe not this specific part maybe because it seems a little glitchy for me but you get the idea all right so we're going to try to break out of here and make our way and uh try to do a gate oh this is awful am i gonna have to just give myself the 